Okay, guys. So in a chapter one of this course, we'll be talking about the basic installations of your um website. You understand? So one of the main things that you should know is that when building a website is that uh, you have a domain which is like maybe a company name or a building. You understand? And then hosting. A hosting is basically like a land or something that you you put your your house name your the, the domain or the house that you bought on it. You understand? Let's say. You want to build um, a house. Now you don't. You, you have the design and everything in mind. You have everything architectured um, on paper and everything. Now you need to be on the ground. You need to have a name for your building. You need to have a land. So the land is the hosting, and the building name is your domain name. You, you understand? So um, I've actually summarized everything here, which is um, very very simple to understand. So buying domain. So the domain usually refers to the house name of your business. That is your business name, which will be like your website name. You understand? And then buying a hosting, um, buying a hosting. So buying a hosting is also what the hosting is mostly referred to the land that you build your house on. That is the backbone of every website. And then we install the WordPress, um, um, WordPress um, website on the hosting. Then we'll be able to before we'll be able to what actually, um, before we'll be able to actually what build our site or anything that you want to do. You understand? And so when you get to our browser. This is one hosting company that I personally use, and they are very, very, very effective. Which is um hosting, I understand. Their prices start from um two dollars and every two dollars a month, and um you will log in so that you see one of the accounts that I use. So I'm going to log in to one account. Okay, um, so this is one account that uh, I want to use a different account so that you guys will see. Okay, so this is basically what how the the hosting account is um the hosting account looks like. You understand? So your hosting account consists uh, co um, consists of your dashboard, the plugins, and everything that you need to build your website. But guess what? Before you can be able to do this, you would need to pay money before you need this. You understand? So that is the reason why I I brought the introduction of what installation of local host you understand local host is just a wordpress um a wordpress um platform or, or a, a site building platform where you can build your website from the local from your local machine without buying a hosting or anything yet you understand so let's say you want to build a website you have to do everything from your computer before you can be able to what upload it to the internet and then buy a hosting and everything so without um wasting much time i'm going to take you through how to um get your how to get your um local host um account and then uh, we create or we build our website um the very first base of our website so let me take you through that so first one i'm going to go to um my my desktop i have the local downloaded already i'll give you the link um on the on the whatsapp platform so that you'll be able to download the wordpress local um the local yes so that you'll be able to download the local and start using it yes so we're waiting for it a bit more so that we can we can we can start our website okay guys so this is how the uh, the the local sites um, or the local WordPress local looks like you understand. So when you open your local site like this, you will have to um go. You will have to um go here and then go to add a site. So when when you go to the add site, you have to enter your site name. And in this tutorial, I'm going to take I'm going to do a blog um a blog website. So I'm going to put the the rich blog. See, so I'm going to put the rich blog. Then always don't use the custom, use the preferred one so that you'll be able to get the everything from the system direct. 
and then you put a username. So we are going to put the same thing, the rich, the rich blog. Then you set a password that you could remember. We are going to use the same thing. The, we are going to use the same thing. Um, the rich blog. Okay, then we have an email account for our website, you understand, so that if anyone wants to um, contact us, they can contact us through the email and everything. So maybe um, since we don't have or we have not created it, I'm going to use some personal emails and other things that I use. So I'm going to copy an email address from um, one of my emails. So I'm going to use um, this email address. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't remember, but keeping it like that. So I'm going to use it and go to, and just paste this here. Then I'm going to add a website. So when you click on that, you have to wait for, it, for the website to be created and it's going to be configured to the machines. You understand? Yes. So we wait for each one. It usually takes a bit some time before you can um before it comes. So we wait for it more. So we wait for it more to um, install the WordPress on our computer, you understand? So we are installing it locally so that we design our website right from our computer without we buying a hosting and more domain, you understand? Yes, that's basically what we are doing. Okay, who are you guys? Our website has been created and now we can open our site so when we open our site this is how it looks it will come this is how it looks that is the rich block which is empty you see have you seen the rich block yes so this is actually the rich block it's nothing that is not being designed it's an empty website so we will have to put log into the admin System of the rich block. Let's see. So you have to go to the admin of the rich block. You understand? So if you always have to remember the password you use when creating the um or when yeah when creating the website, we we'll use the rich the rich block. Yeah, we use the same thing. So the username and the password. We use the same thing for them. So we will log in.
yes guys so we are going to save our site sure so guys this is your wordpress um dashboard so we have the dashboard updates media and everything so um yes this is actually how your wordpress dashboard looks you can actually open your site right from here you can open your site right from here to you understand so guys um so this is our site yes and this is our dashboard yes so um we will end here for today and i'm going to make sure that each and every one of you is able to download the um the local and then the local who uh, install it on their machine before we proceed to the next lesson tomorrow so guys um this is actually where we will end for today's lesson and we have covered um we have covered the overview of wordpress the domain and hosting and what um, installation you understand so uh, this is basically where we'll end for today and continue um this lesson tomorrow but please um i believe that you all followed and please um download the the, the download the local install it on your machine and create your site so that tomorrow we will be we will be working on the customization and then installing teams and what customizing our site so that we will have we will give it the look that you will i'm sharing the link right on the whatsapp platform um of the local so that you download it today thanks guys for joining us today and i believe that tomorrow will be a very good lesson thank you bye for now